down no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, this is Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Before I even get started with the video, I just want to say thank you all for pushing me up to 1k subscribers. I've been working very hard to, you know, accomplish that feat on my channel. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching my content. And later on this week, I'll probably have a video, a Q&A for my 1k special video. So make sure to check out that you know in a coming week or so but with that being stated out the way as well in today's video i'm going to be showcasing on how to block any playstation vita firmware update and also how to access psn or the actual playstation network store on a version 3.70 firmware and i noticed that my last video since the 3.71 update for the vita just released like two or three days ago a lot of people have been telling me that they can't access the psn store but in today's video i'm going to show that solution with that being out the way as well if you guys could please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel and you'll never miss a you know update from my you know feed and as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form or you just want to join my official community i recently just made a discord you could join in a link in the description below or you can just type in a link in your url via whatever browser you use and my discord not only that i help people set up their playstation vitas or ps3s and ps4s and whatever console you have there is a you know a little community hub that you can meet new people from the modding and community and stuff like that and you will have access to like homebrew links and stuff like that for your system but if you do want to um, support my channel even a little bit more further you can feel free to donate via my PayPal I'll have a link in the description below of course this is purely optional but any donations I may receive from my fans or viewers it will go straight back to my channel and help me with like um, buying things for my computer um, better software for recording and you know even consoles and stuff like that so i could view and make premium content for y'all guys to showcase on this channel with that all being stated and set out the way we could go ahead and get started with the things you need and the prerequisites for your vita and anything that i list will be in the link in the description below so of course you need either a modded playstation vita or pstv via using the hankaku h on core or trinity hack or if you're on a non-modded playstation vita or pstv you could do this and you have to be on 3.70 firmware to um basically do this so if you're on like something lower like 3.68 or 3.65 use the original Hankaku exploit or the H core exploit but if you're using Trinity exploit make sure not to update the 3.71 because if you did um, you basically are out of a jailbreak but with that being stated as well the other two things you need for this video is just to go into Hankaku settings and you need an internet connection but before I even get into the nitty gritty, um, here are the actual instructions on how to block system updates just to showcase that on the screen before I show it in the video. So if you wanted to go ahead and get a head start on how to do this, you could go ahead and check that via right here. But with that being all out the way as well, I just want to give a special thanks for video.hack.guides.com or excuse me, .com for releasing on how to do this. I know a lot of other websites um, basically showcase the same thing in a lot of um, forum posts, but I feel like this website had the best you know um you know method on how to do this and as well if you need any help don't forget to join my discord and i just want to give a special thanks out to my fans and supporters who've been watching my channel and my content so thank you all and now we could go ahead and get started on the pc portion of this tutorial Alright guys, so assuming that you're on your PlayStation Vita, most of y'all guys are getting this error as showcased here on the screen. So if you try to go into PSN store or you know you try to access your friends list or whatever and you want to stay on a lower firmware to you know hack your system and you're trying to download that demo for whatever region you are, since I'm in the United States, you have to download the local Roco to get started with the Trinity exploit. And as well, if you want to learn how to hack your Vita on 3.70, I'll have a link in the description below and probably a card right now that will 
whole point on how to do that but with that being out the way as well most of y'all guys are having this little error on how to get into the PSN store but in the video I'm going to be showcasing on how to use the DNS but mind you you have to be on 3.70 to work and you may want to get a quick head start on how to do this only due to the fact that um, Sony could you know patch this method as well but with that being out the way we could go ahead and get started on the actual setup a few moments later Alrighty guys, so once you're back on your PlayStation Vita, what you want to go to is settings, then also network settings, and then go into your actual access point or whatever Wi-Fi as showcased here, and then you want to go into advanced settings. First things first, you want to go and use this code for your primary DNS, so 212-47229 and 76. Make sure you don't have the second DNS on, and with the proxy server, you go ahead and hit do not use, and then hit OK. What you want to do now is go ahead and reset your PlayStation Vita, and then once you do that you should be able to access the PlayStation Network store as shown here guys once you reset your PlayStation Vita what you want to do again is just go into your access points just go into your advanced settings and just verify that you did have your primary DNS set up correctly then what you can do is just back out of network settings and now what should happen I'm gonna go and close out the PlayStation store and then I'm gonna go ahead and run it again so PSN store go ahead and hit start and now I won't have that pesky little error that was showcased earlier so that's how you successfully do this via with the DNS now I'm not too sure how long this method will work because Sony can patch you know PSN server or change some keys or something but as of right now if you want to keep your firmware on 3.70 and still access PSN to download that local Roco demo to hack your system this is what I suggest to do before it's patched with that being stated out the way, my name's Nagato, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time in the next video. Peace.